Hey creative friends, it's Gwen. Do you have a pile of paper scraps that look just like this? Well today I'm going to show you what you can do with them. These paper scraps are a little small for scrapbooking but they are the perfect size for making cards. So let's get started. I have created the card bases themselves off camera just with plain white cardstock. I've then gone ahead and found the largest paper scraps that I could and I found two patterns that would fit the card fronts. I have then grabbed some plain white cardstock which I'm going to run through this die right here. It is an old one from Heidi Swap. The card front measures 13.5 centimeters square, so about five and a quarter inches. I've then trimmed the white cardstock and the pattern paper to fit that card front. Did you see those little pencil arrows on the back of each of the pieces? That is to help me know which way up each of the layers of the paper are going to go. Once I knock that out, I do just write that in pencil on the back so that as I'm creating, I know the plan. It's time for a mini workout. I'm going to run the embossing folder through my Sizzix fold away machine. And this one is really subtle actually. It's only some really subtle lines, but I like the texture that it adds. And it gave me an idea for a way that I could use up some of my washi tape. So this is my entire collection of washi tape. I like to mention that because I'm guessing that it's probably a lot fewer than you would think. I'm here to let you know that you don't need a million supplies to make beautiful things. Oh yes, and I haven't told you the plan for the cards just yet. Uh, I'm making two and I'm going to make one opening um like a, a top down one so you lift it up to open it and then the other one I will make just as a standard card where you open left to right to open it and I'm going to run the stripes in that same direction so yeah the one opening in the regular way the stripes will run horizontally and then the top down one the stripes are going to run vertically as you've just seen there too, I've added three strips of washi to each of the card fronts and they are just running within the same stripes as the embossing folder. I'm then going to place that piece on top of the pattern paper that I cut originally. See, I'm just lining up my arrows there now. And then that's really just the base of the cards. I am going to go away in a moment here and add some stitching all the way around the edge. With that all done, it's now time to use up some of the smaller paper scraps. I found the easiest way to do that is to use a bunch of them as paper layers and details on the card fronts. So it's actually nice that at this point I'm using smaller pieces and I'm actually often going with what I already have there. So this piece here was a long rectangle shape. So I've just turned that into a banner piece. This blue piece here was more square rectangular sort of size. So again, I'm just going to go with what I already have there and layer that up. This little triangular piece was already a triangle and I thought, you know what, let's see if we can layer that on there as well. So as you can see, I'm really working with the shapes and the sizes that I already have. This is good for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it uses up all of those small little pieces. But secondly, it kind of takes some of the thinking out of it for you. If you've been here a while, you will know that I do suffer from decision fatigue. And my number one strategy for that is to make fewer decisions. So if I already have a piece of pattern paper that is a triangle shape, I don't have to decide what size to cut it, what shape to cut it. I can just use that in my creating. For the second card I'm creating, I did have a couple of rectangular pieces and I thought, you know what, let's use up those bigger pieces and keep this second card a little bit simpler. It is just going to be a sort of rectangular design and I will work on them both sort of at the same time and together. 
I do like to batch create my cards. You know how sometimes when you're cooking maybe a more complicated meal, you'll make sure to have extra so that there's leftovers? I kind of look at this the same way. I've already taken the time to pull out these supplies and have a think about what I'm going to create. I've set up my workspace and I've scheduled some time to get making. So it's not actually a lot of extra effort to make two cards rather than one. I'm now up to the most fun part of card making for me, working with all of the pretty embellishments. You might notice there too that I did add some more stitch detail to those larger pieces of pattern paper in the background of the card. I like to have stitching in more than one place. So if I'm going to add the stitching to the edge of the card, I will make sure to add some stitching within the layers there themselves as well. I have a bunch of pretty embellishments still left in this collection. So I am going to continue that paper layering into my embellishments with some layered die cuts and the florals and also some chipboard pieces. To be honest, this is the bit that I probably find um, a little bit tricky because I want to add lots and lots of layers. I love the look of layered scrapbook pages and mini albums and I, that does convert when I make cards. But we have, of course, the restriction of the envelope with card making. Unless you're handing the card to someone, most of the time you have to pop it into an envelope and that means that it has to stay fairly flat. That's the tricky part, getting a really lovely layered look but keeping the card front still quite flat. You'll notice here too at this point that the cards look quite different and that's purely because I have just gone with the shapes of the paper scraps that I had. So the one on the left is banners and triangles and angles and then the one on the right was really just rectangles inside of each other. I also did find a couple of gold foil butterflies. These are from Jen Hadfield and they are going to be the finishing touch for the cards. Thanks so much for being here my creative friends. If you're looking for even more card making inspiration be sure to check out this video right here. I hope you all enjoyed this one and I'll see you all next time. Until then, bye!